I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chapstick. Please don't leave. Hi guys, sorry about that intro. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today, I've got a new scent for me and a new base for me and a new company for me. So if it's a new company, then there's obviously going to be a new base and a new scent. So there you go. McDuff's Cream Soda. And it says Cream Soda. But I get the most beautiful cherry chapstick flavor. I say that in the in the nicest possible way. It is a beautiful, beautiful Vermont scent. Um, it's not too sweet. It is very, very nice. Um, so I've got that. I've got the matching splash. I got these from the razor company of my own money. This was not given for review. Not that it matters anyway. It wouldn't wouldn't change things. Um, brush my AKA Brushworks with the Jelly Donut. The Jelly Donut Knot. Um, 26 millimeter, extremely dense, nice and soft. And I, I'm not gonna have a scent today. It's, um, it's nighttime. Um, I'll be in bed before too awful long. Um, so I'm just going with the scent there. And for the weapon of the day, my Wade and Butcher, honed by Frank at Strike Gold Shave. And I think it's time for a honing again too. I saw a little spot um, in my loop, like right in this area. Um, and I tried to um, put it on the, the cloth side and work it, and then work it on the strop, um, the actual leather part of the strop also. And it didn't come out, but we're gonna see. Hopefully it will do a good job. If I have trouble with it, then I'll go with one of the ooh, one of the other guys. So this is what we're doing today. Excited to try out this new to me um, soap. Run a little water here. And I didn't go ahead and preload the brush because I wanna show you what the texture of this is and show you how I'm gonna load it because it is quite soft, um, definitely croak. Uh, bordering on cream but super excited to try this out um, let me give you let, let me give you some uh, some stuff on the splash and the soap so um, raspberry nectarine pineapple black currant vanilla musk um, it is grass-fed and humane beef tallow organic shea butter and I'm not listing all of the ingredients, but just some, some that stand out to me. Green tea extract, oat protein, silk, goat's milk, yogurt, argan oil, jojoba oil, beer. You know it's going to be good. Um, and the splash is a witch basil, witch, witch basil uh, or witch parsley, whichever one you can find. Um, witch hazel and aloe vera based um, splash. And it's got jojoba oil and glycerin, uh, olive M and oat protein so once again never tried this before so i am excited um here it is i'm barely pushing and that much comes off of my finger so it is very soft almost cream consistency um so you don't want to overload it. Um, so here's what I do. I just dip it in water and then squish like that. And then I'm not going to push at all. I'm just going to swirl this on here. I will not splay this brush at all or I'm gonna take half of the tub. So we're just gonna go like this. Just a little rub until I feel there's enough paste in there. And you can see already 
I'm getting a nice bit of paste and I've not pushed whatsoever other than just to hold it to the soap. Soap, croak, cream, whatever you want to call it. You can see that Now I'll put just a touch of pressure on there. And I feel like that's gonna be enough. I don't know, Let, let's go just a little bit more just because, you know, I wanna make sure I have plenty of product to give this a, a thorough review. I, that's gotta be enough. telling you it's a beautiful scent it is opening up more to where it's not just cherry chapstick but I love the smell of cherry chapstick so we'll see how this opens up I don't know what it is that gives it that cherry chapstick vibe uh, maybe there's some melted cherry chapstick in there I don't know but you know I'm not making fun of this at all. I think it's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's just sweet enough. Um, and then it's that cherry chapstick. And then it's got kind of an herbal vibe in there. So we'll see how this opens up as I, as I lather. I'm sorry, it's smoking hot today. It's like 90 degrees and I don't have air conditioning in my um, in my bathroom. So unfortunately I have to have the fan going. I'm sorry, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. And if it does, hit mute, because you don't want to hear me talk anyway. I tell you, this scent is awesome. I love it. Mmm, here we go. Look at this stuff starting to explode already. Mm-hmm. And apparently there was a lot more water left in this brush than I thought. Just look at this. There's just tons of lather here. Mm. Great scent. Great Scott, great scent. I don't know what that means. But you know me, weirder the better. Mm. Smells so good. I'll say it 48 times. Start counting them. You rewind if you need to. And it's a new base to me, so you know I'm gonna hit it with water. Not that I wouldn't anyway, but. Look at this. Beautiful. We're gonna wait until it gets super, super shiny. I mean, we're getting there, but we're not gonna stop. Here we go. Now we're watering it up. Once you can see through to my skin, you know we're getting some water in there. For straight razor shaving, I want it super slick and thin. Woo! And I'm dropping it everywhere. Look at that shine. That's beautiful. I'll take someone off of my shirt put it back on my face. V 
very shiny. Not very tasty. Not terrible though. It's it's bitter, but it's not super bitter. Um, and the taste is kind of fruity. It tastes kind of a um, cherry currant basil. That's what I get. Those are your culinary notes on this soap. Um, you know, it's it's not too bad. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that a good three on the um, what do I call it? Oh, the tasteometer. I have not calibrated my tasteometer in a while, so I don't know if it's as um, accurate as before, but I'm pretty sure it's right on. All right. You know what? Let's whip this a little more. Why not? You think we should add more water? You know I'm game. There's an additional six squirts. How's that? I mean, it's coming off of the brush now, so I'm pretty sure I've got a lot of water in it. Oh, <laughs> oh, we dropped one. Here, let me go theater mode. It is a very moist lather. All right, I feel no need to put any more water in this. Maybe some water in my mouth because I ate soap again. I get a little alum on my fingers. And super, super shiny, thin, we're gonna hope that it's extra extra slick, but anything that takes that much water is likely to be quite slick. I've got my Razor Company towel, and I'll be wiping my um, my blade on this. All right. Hopefully, this Wade and Butcher is gonna do me right. Kind of worried about the little spot in there, but. You know, sometimes you see a spot and in actual shaving, um, it really doesn't change anything. So, hoping that's the case today. All right, let's go. And it's been a while since I've shaved with a straight razor. I am excited today. It has been a minute. little drag but overall not too good not too good not too bad had a nice bloop there now let's see residual slickness mm-hmm it's there I don't always use a straight razor, but when I do, I don't want to get cut. You may feel the same way. I don't know. I, I don't know you that well.
No bloop yet. Mm, too slick. Need some alum on my fingers. Impressive so far. Nice bloops also. Did just get soap on the scales, so it's probably not great for grip. Well, I'm not really holding the scale, so it doesn't matter, does it? You guys stop messing with me. Very nice so far. Another good bloop. Ugh. No zitch. Just a touch of drag on the razor, but not enough to irritate me, I don't think. Certainly not so far. I think it's time to go out to Frank again. Mm. I really like the scent. Who knew cherry chapstick could be this good? It can. I feel like I haven't shaved with a straight in forever. had so many new things coming into my den lately. Not that that's a bad thing. For a wallet, yes. All right, nice first pass. Residual slickness here is very good. Impressed with this base so far. Very slick. Good stuff, McDuff's. I may get more stuff. Darn you.
beautiful. So slick it's hard to hold my brush now. All right, let's keep going. stuff this is the razor company week on bbs live and i got this from the razor company also this is bbs live week so thursday night 9 p.m eastern time in canada time i believe using just some different angled strokes here. Which kind of helps me get um, against the grain and across the grain on my neck. I mean, that makes all the difference in the world, too, for me. Um, my neck hair grows this way and this way in these spots. Um, and doing that J hook is just enough to kind of, you know, change the angle just enough to get in there like that. So works very nice because you can't really go across this way with a straight razor. If you can, you teach me how. Cause I can't. There we go. Doing a great job so far. Not me, the equipment, the products. I'm just letting it work properly so far.
and it's absolutely been a minute since I've straight razor shaved. I'm not gonna push it too much. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna do kind of a, a quick south to north. And then call it good. Yes, I did spray that water right in my mouth. Very nice soap. And my sideburns are definitely off. Let's see. It's closer. good now. Just touch this angle up a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right. Let's get lathered up for the last pass. There's a lot of wind in here too from the fan, so add just a little more water. It will certainly take it. Okay, let's add some more. Look how much water there is. Let's see what I can do with it. Guess what happens when you add more water to this? You get more, you get more, add more water. You get more lather. That's what you get. Look at that. You guys saw the ton of water that I just put in there. That is beautiful. It does, I told you I like water in my lather. Lucky, your soap loves the water. I think we've got a great relationship going here. All right, once again, I have not used a straight razor in a while, so I'm just gonna make this brief. Just the spots that, you know, I really wanna be, I don't know, as close as possible. I'm not doing a fool's pass or anything like that. Not today anyway. It's 
just going to fall off? There's so much there, maybe not. Come on, get off of there. I tell you, that stuff will soak up some water. I can definitely still put more in this. We'll say this would be a soap with a wide range of water tolerance. gonna call it good right there and I'll just shave this down again All right, let's see how we did. Very nice soap. Once again, I apologize for the singing. Lancaster towel, the best in the business. Best that I've tried anyway. All right, let's inspect. A nice poche feel. Didn't miss anything. And I don't see any bleeders. The scent is still a great cherry chapstick. It's more complex now, but it's still a wonderful cherry chapstick. Witch hazel base, so no burnies. Mmm. Mmm, really great scent. I've only said that, well, I don't know. You tell me how many times did I say it? Feels very nice and slick on the skin. Mm. I will not use a um, balm or anything today because I want to see just how well this hydrates my face. may take a minute or two to soak in but once again great scent um, a little stronger here which you would obviously expect and now we're almost dry feels great I will obviously report back how this feels tomorrow but feels nice now it's kind of got that little glycerin stick right now Obviously, once it 
once it fully dries, it won't feel like that anymore. But kind of like the um, the old Lothar Luther Luther Lothar um, balm, which I enjoyed that too. I don't know why it needed to be changed over to alcohol because I liked it just fine. But it's got that same kind of just a little tack to it. So really good stuff. A very enjoyable first run with cream soda by McDuff's. Um, it doesn't smell like cream soda to me. Um, there is a background of, of cream soda along with the forefront of Cherry Chapstick. Really good stuff. I enjoyed it. Thank you guys for joining me for another great shave um, and, you know, more new products. So hopefully I'll, I'll keep new things coming as much as I can. But you know, the money thing kind of limits, but I do have Jason helping me out on some of that stuff. So thank you guys again. Uh, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you on the next one.